Hey everybody, Bill Protzman here. I was just working on a little piece of music that's very important to me, and I thought I'd share a little of that with you. But I'm here today to actually talk to you about a book launch. I know, a book launch, right? Well, next Monday, two days from now, is the solar eclipse. And it's also the launch of this little book, More Than Human. And I want to talk to you just a minute about why I got to be the one to write this. You know, I do a lot of volunteering for veterans, and particularly veterans that are at risk for many things. And I became part of a committee through the San Diego Veterans Coalition that was to explore the spiritual dimension of veterans' recovery. We were talking about moral injury at the time, and that's an interesting topic because there's a big difference between you know, believing that killing is wrong and then being a warrior in combat and actually having to go out and, and kill people. So our committee was exploring that, and we thought that exploring this dimension of spirituality was a worthwhile activity. Did that for a couple of years, and then the board of the coalition decided to disband the committee and fold its activities in with other committees. Well, before the board disbanded us, we'd done a great deal of thinking about what does it mean to act in a spiritual way? What's practical about the application of spirituality in real life, right? And uh, we We'd gotten it down to the point where there was an outline, and the outline looked like it would be useful in terms of a best practices manual. Businesses could take it, or people, families, individuals could take it, and they could learn about what the spiritual best practices are that result in, um, I'm not going to say right or wrong action, but the result in better action, action that comes from the human spirit, things that you would do if you felt good about doing them. And... This outline was just all right there, ready to go when the committee was disbanded. And it sat there for a little while on my plate. And I thought, you know what, I could probably make a book out of this. I think I'll start writing this and see how far it goes. Well, long about that time, I got a call from a friend who was also writing a book, and he wanted me to contribute to his book, just a chapter. And ironically enough, the chapter he wanted was on the spiritual dimension of doing the right thing. I said, well, you know what, I, th I can probably write that. So I took those two sort of impetus items and, and threw them together and sat down and started writing against the outline we developed in the committee. And lo and behold, about three months later, this is what we got. More than human, the value of cultivating the human spirit in your organization. And as I said, that could be an organization of one or two or a family or a giant enterprise. The practices that are outlined in this little book turn out to be something that you can do regardless of your beliefs. You might be Christian or Muslim or Jewish, but actually showing respect to somebody turns out to be a good spiritual practice. Showing appreciation, we all know how that goes. Uh, we hear a lot of talk these days about how there's an employee engagement problem and employees are leaving their jobs because they don't like their boss. Well, that doesn't have to be the case. If the boss was likable and actually encouraged employees to do something that felt good, that sparked up their human spirit, well, I don't think we'd have that kind of turnover. It's just a guess. But the U.S. Army seems to feel like spiritual readiness is a part of being a good soldier. So I think there's probably a little bit of interest out there in this topic right now. And here's a little book to go along with it. So, Monday the 21st, if you're not looking at the eclipse, take a look at Amazon or Kindle or wherever your favorite ebook reader might be distributed, and you'll find More Than Human available for free. And have a, have a go. Uh, see if you can get into it. and Give it a read and let me know what you think. I'm always looking for great feedback. Most of the ways that you can get to me are pretty easy, but BillProtzman.com is an easy one. Just Google for me. You'll find me. And thank you so much for helping to make this little book launch go and for listening to this little message. If you have any questions at all, hit me back. You can always reach me, Bill, at BillProtzman.com. And I would love to hear your feedback, see your answers, read your Amazon reviews. And thank you, thank you. Hope your Eclipse viewing was fantastic and that you got some great pictures. And I'll see you soon on the other side. Bye for now.